Hello, my name is Igor, and this is Pet Machine, a device that can change plastic bottle into material for 3D printing. About two years ago, I designed my machine and wrote an article for International Science Conference in Tokyo. I spent more than 1000 hours on designing and building my pet machine. I tried to create maximally affordable, modular, compact and easy to assemble project. I had so much fun like with assembling Lego blocks. On the front of the device we have Rex C100 temperature controller and PWM controller to control speed of the filament winding. Electric motor is hidden inside of the device. The torque from the motor is transmitted through the gears up to the winding spool. Gear ratio is 1 to 10, so with my motor the torque is about 6 Nm. The device has built-in power supply, we just need to connect cable to the socket. The designed handle makes carrying the device very comfortable and easy. The bottom is closed by airy covers. Space inside is well managed to keep it cool and possibly the smallest. Now I will show you the road that plastic strip have to go through to become a filament. It's going from the spool through the leading guide to the heating block. In it, filament is plasticized and formed by the nozzle into wire with diameter 1.75 mm. Then hot filament is cooled down and pulled through the guiding rollers to be winded on the spool. And here is how my whole machine looks like. Almost all non-metal parts are 3D printed. And now I would like you to show you the whole process of creating the filament, from the cutting the bottle to printing the model from it. Now we have to prepare the plastic bottle. First of all we need to remove label and rest of the glue. Then using source of heat we will smooth the bottle. I keep some water inside and close the cap. It's good to rotate and move the bottle to heat it up evenly. Water inside evaporates and increases the pressure. In this process, heated bottle become fully smooth. Here you can see the difference between unprocessed bottle and smoothed one. To make a plastic strip from the bottle I will use special knife. I found the project of it on popular site with 3D models. I plan to create module which will cut the bottle on the machine. I use normal scissors to cut off the bottom of the bottle. Then I create long strip using special knife and wind it on the spool. For demonstration I will use previously prepared strip made from Lipton green tea bottle. It's important to cut thin part in the end of it. It will be much easier to push it through the nozzle. I'm using pliers to pull out a little bit of strip from the nozzle. Now I'm heating up the heating head to 200 Celsius degrees. When temperature controller will show about 100 Celsius degrees, using pliers I have to pull out some strip, guide it through the rollers and attach on the winding spool using dedicated holes for it. If strip is attached, we can turn on the motor. It will take a little bit of time to process the whole strip.
when the end of the strip is going through the nozzle, I carefully wait till it will pop out. Then I cut the beginning of the filament and take out ready filament from the spool. This color really looks amazing. Now let's print something with our new filament. I really didn't suppose that quality of the prints will be that good. Just wait for it. I printed one more vase from the filament from the Coca-Cola bottle. In here we can compare two vases made from our Eco filament and one made from Bout one. Guess which one is not made from the bottle and let me know in the comment. I was so curious how calibration cube will look like and I was really impressed. Now I will print something really useful, drawer for my screws organizer. Almost every pet bottle can be processed in this way, so it gives many opportunities to make your own filament at home and take care about environment. Thank you for watching until the end. Buying my project, you will receive a complete guide video showing step by step how to assemble a pet machine. What's more, you will get step and STI files, bill of materials with links to AliExpress, and instructions helpful with printing elements on your own 3D printer. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you next time.